My guest, Lao Tong Fao Yim, is a dynamic professional with a tenacious commitment to excellence and innovation. With a rich background in media and marketing communications, he has gained extensive expertise in public relations, e-commerce, media, hospitality, and NGOs. Lao Tong's journey is marked by bold decisions and transformative leaps, which are evident in his transition from the construction world to the dynamic communication industry. Over time, he has excelled in developing brand strategies, managing campaigns, and producing compelling content for renowned brands such as Asus, Conga, Jameson, Stambik IBTC, Mastercard Foundation, White and McKay's Scotch Whiskies, and Clarence Dillion's Wines among others. Now, beyond his professional endeavors, Olauta is deeply committed to empowering teenagers and youths. Now, for over five years, he has dedicated his time to consistently training hundreds of teenagers on self-discovery, fulfillment, and actualization. He advocates for nurturing young minds to unlock their full potentials. Many thanks for joining me on Business Insight. Once again, each time I read your profile, like, <laughs> only you kill or they kill or shall I? <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the start, the sky is just uh, the starting point, don't worry. Right. So there's so much to actually achieve. Right. Been a while you've been here. Right. How's right. it going? Very good, very good. I'm happy to be here again. Yeah, I'm Thank surprised you're you so still much. around. I thought you'd have joined the <laughs> <laughs> syndrome. You're not. Well, so if if that happens um, then we leave a lot of um, hole mm. uh, to be filled right True. so um, there's a lot of work to do here uh, I, I think that when you have challenges yes. um, you need to depend on the very strong minds mm. um, that are in the system you know okay. to find a solution yes. or to find solutions to, to, to the system so um, it's it's not I, I don't really think that um, everybody um, mm. moving away is uh, the solution. Even if you have to, I've always advocated for, um, you can explore, mm. right? Go out, see. I'm not against people moving, I mm -hmm. mean, going out. It's yes. good. I mm. mean, go out and see, see things. things, yes. You can never build what you haven't seen, mm -hmm. right? So if we're talking of, wanting to make Nigeria a uh, developed country. You mm. have to see what works in mm. developed countries. Right. So you go around, you see things. When you see it, it gives you a picture in your mind mm. that you can come back and recreate. And recreate. That's why I, I, I kind of feel funny when I see that a lot of, you know, our leaders, a lot of uh, leaders across board, and I'm not just mm. talking about political leaders, but okay. well, leaders across board who have traveled, you know, seen developed countries, how things work, the mm. road system, the uh, power system, things, a lot of things. Mm. And then we still come back here and... They don't replicate it. Yeah, everything yeah. is still like Same. business as usual. So, so I'm wondering, yeah, so what's exactly is mm. the issue, mm. right? So if, 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 if I would say that if we have the plan to see what's happening uh, across the borders, right? Yes. Let's, let's do that with the mindset that we want to replicate it and mm. ensure that we're building our own home as well. That works. That should be, <laughs> that should be the, 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 the main word there. Not just to jack off or run in sick, but just yeah. see things, yeah. know things, and come and develop your own exactly. country. Exactly. Let's, get, let's just get deeply into what we are discussing today, you know, because some people might say uh, being a Nigerian is hard enough, you know, but right <laughs> now it's been so, so wonderful in quote, yeah. all of the challenge, the daunting challenge that right. we've had to uh, be faced with in the past one year or thereabouts, yeah. you know, high inflation, float of the Naira, currency, <laughs> Forex, and that uh, every yeah. day the well, food price is not yeah. fueling at all. So <laughs> how do we just navigate through all of these troubled waters? Well, uh, we're here, and that's what I keep saying. Yeah. I, I always have conversations with younger people, mm. my professional colleagues and everything. And I say that we are here already. Mm -hmm. There is nothing, we, there's no going back. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. What then do we do? It's, it's, it's not us thinking forward, feeling forward. Mm. Like, um, you can't run away. And then you can't remain the way you are. You have to find solutions, right? That's what I keep saying. If not, you just sink. Exactly, right? Mm. And what then uh, do you do? 
you know, re recently I, I thought back, I was very, very aware of 1993 during the elections. Uh, okay. NSDP and RC and all mm, of that. MKB and uh, Antofa. I, I, yeah, I was yeah. in secondary school and I definitely knew mm. what, what happened at that time. Guess what? There was full scarcity. Mm. Recently I saw a report of 1973. The newspaper I was making was was in the social it was in the social media space recently. Mm, yeah. There was there was there was full scarcity. Mm. 1973. I remember growing up. I can't remember. I think uh, a, a, a tin of milk was less than five naira at that time. Mm. Uh, but then I remember vividly that my mom would come home and say that ah she went to the market today everything is so expensive, and you are there you are wondering what's this woman saying because you we didn't understand we were mm. children. Now we understand because we're adults and we're still complaining about the same thing. Mm. What am I saying? If you look at the 70s, the 80s, mm. the 90s, till where we are here now, there has never been a point where anybody has said, oh, everything is so rosy, so we're wonderful. good. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. I do. Yeah, so at that time, it looked like buying a tin of milk for less than five naira or one naira was, mm. oh, good. If, if it was now, you wish that we could go back to where mm -hmm. we used to buy it. Like, but then, they didn't say it like that. Then it was still very expensive. It was expensive for them. Mm -hmm. So my father, who was working, I was making money. For him, it was expensive at that time. Because what he was making, by the time he shares it with school fees, um, but then, oh, he had his house, so he wasn't paying house rent. Mm -hmm. But if he was doing school fees, food, clothing, everything, he would say that, oh, everything is expensive. Because mm -hmm. mom would come back and say, oh, the money you have given us is not enough. You need to add to it. And it's the same story now. So what has changed? Nothing. Nothing. So exactly. Absolutely exactly nothing. nothing. So same old story. Exactly. So if there was first cassette in the 70s, if there was first cassette in the 80s, if there was first cassette in the 90s, mm. then there is still first cassette now. Right now, true. Right now. So then what is the way out? The way out is to help yourself amid the uncertainties. So how do you go about helping yourself? Fantastic. You know, recently I, I was going to come up with a magazine, uh, okay. first edition, and I reached out to some professionals uh, that I wanted them to col uh, collaborate, come mm. together, and give, uh, provide content for the magazine. Yeah. And I spoke to a financial expert, and he, th he threw in his own contribution. I was shocked when I saw it. He, he called it the EMTYS mm. principle. And so when I read it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going to give a spoiler to this magazine, but it's fine, mm -hmm. <laughs> for the sake of the show, right? So he said, yeah. before now, the learning has been spend less than you, you earn mm -hmm. so that you can have savings. Yes. But now, where do you get the savings from? <laughs> before the money even comes in, fuel is calling, food is calling, rent is calling, school fees is calling. So the concept of saving for all you care is constantly fizzling out. Mm. I had a conversation with a friend who works in one of the biggest financial institutions in Nigeria. She said to me, she said, Olauto, I am waking up every morning and I'm feeling like I'm gradually sliding into the lower class of the economy. Mm. Even with his so-called well yes! job. Yes, that's the, re that's the reality. Because before the money comes in, there's the whole lot of expenses Mm. Waiting for you to, Just to suck it up. Yeah. Right? So that's it. So the principle before was spend less and than you earn. for saving, yes. That's changed. Because at the end of the day, you know, what you earn is not even enough to make for your, your exactly. daily exactly. or your monthly exactly. needs, as the case may be. So now to talk of what exactly can you save out of what is not even enough. Exactly. So you can save. Because everything has gone skyrocket and uh, the, the baseline has not changed. Has not changed. Mm. So look at... By March last year, a, a, a liter of, of fuel was less than 200 naira. Mm. Now it's over 1,000 so naira. That's, yes. that's like times five. Yes, over 500 percent. So you can imagine your income hasn't changed. Mm -mm. But everything you spend money on has gone times five. Transportation, fuel, mm. everything has gone times five. Mm. Food has gone times five. So what then do you do? So it's not a concept of spend less than you earn right now. It's and more than you spend. I understand. So any more would mean uh, maybe diversifying exactly. more streams. Fantastic. Oh, you say, oh, Alonso, you're just speaking English. It's easier, it's easier said than done, but mm. that's the way out. You know, 
I told I mean, you just read my profile. Mm. I had a construction background. Mm. I spent over 10 years studying quantities of in construction. Hey, am I? I've spent over 15 years in communications. Mm. You know, back in the days, you would feel like, no, this is what I want to do. I don't want to do anything else. It's okay. As long as whatever it is you're doing is putting food on your table. Mm -hmm. But when I made that switch, a lot of, some of my friends will come to me and say, oh, I've got this project. Let's do it together. You do, I do the, uh, the project part. You do the QS part. We, mm. we split the money. But I found, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not interested, you know. And then you keep throwing money away. And then you say, you're not interested. Do you understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I do. So what then do you do? You have, this, you have certain knowledge in an area. Mm. Even if you're not interested, it's time to look at it. Look, you're not interested in agriculture. You know when you mention agriculture to young people? Mm. They say, no, it's too no, dead. They don't want to do it. Get that, you know, you, do you understand? But if you think critically, there's an a there's the the value chain. chain. Mm. You may not even show up at all. Mm -hmm. And then you're making money. What do you do? Play the middle man. Mm. So there's a dirty man in the, in the farm mm -hmm. who is making those things. Tell and then the there's a dirty driver mm -hmm. who has a car and can move it from the village to the Lagos. Mm. But there's a clean you mm. that can stand between that dirty people yes. and the end users. Mm -hmm. And this is why don't you just plug in? Mm. You make the money, you share it. The guy in the village gets his own. The driver who has brought it gets his own. Mm. The, uh, you who have been in between mm. get your own. And you're actually adding value. Yes. There are actually some products that they make in my town that you don't get anywhere else that kind of quality mm. do you know that i got to a point where i started to look at those products and i started to bring them from the town here in lagos okay and then to started to get it into the hands of people who need it one of these is shea butter mm. you don't get the same quality anywhere like you get your town that is the truth okay there are places where you get honey in i mean the best quality honey mm. the best quality palm wine in the village true but then we're here in lagos looking for that big tie i like your tie that's mm. what everybody's <laughs> looking for but you did i hope all the young people know what you went through to wear this beautiful tie uh-huh yeah that's what i'm saying mm. so it's good to wear the tie and the shirt and be called md or ceo or whatever it is yeah. but it's time we look back at what other streams okay. can we plug into? So at what time, at what point now do you begin to consider the streams of income? Because some people are like, okay, I want to, you know, get this uh, particular capital outlet before <laughs> I now branch out because um, I might not necessarily do well if I just start out small because right now the economy is not really smiling and uh, we've been talking about multi streams of income over time but people they don't even know they say they don't even have other talents they are just into finance and that's what they can do so how do you address such people i'll go back I, i'm sure i mentioned i'm not sure i mentioned this principle the last time i was here i'll go back to it okay sud principle sud 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 okay principle i'm sure i mentioned it start yeah. where you are use what you have Whoa. do what you can mm. that's the principle i live by that's okay. the principle that successful people live by. Start where you are. Start Use what where you, you are. Use what you have. And do what you can. Do what you can. Okay. If you're waiting for that big capital, it will never come. Mm. You see, but you have a phone that has contacts. Mm. You, you see, the problem is we're looking to get all the millions in one day. No. There's a point where you do like a test run. You have to test the waters. Mm. And you use people that are close to you. Okay. I was training some teenagers, um, a, a, a foundation mm. uh, recently, right? Uh, two, uh, a week. So I was one of the facilitators. And during my session, I was, I was telling them how you can leverage the contact mm. that you currently have. You see a lot of times, you just feel like, oh, I want to start selling rice mm. because I love to sell rice. So you go the next morning, you just go to your church and then you cook rice and then you put it and then you tell people you mm. want to sell rice. For all you care, they are not interested in rice. Mm -hmm. I said, before you jump into selling rice, why no, don't you ask need. questions? Yes. Need. yes. Start, walk from the consumer back. Mm. Ask questions, what do they need? Mm. So just go into church that day and see a group of people and say, oh, would you actually like to eat rice every afternoon when mm. we finish service maybe eight out of ten says yes mm. what kind of rice would you like to eat mm. fried white um 
white. Okay, fine. Uh, how much are you actually willing to pay for a mm. bowl of rice? Five naira, ten naira. You are doing research. You think research is going to some big companies, get behind it? No, 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 no. That's not research. Yeah. Asking questions. By the time you ask 10, 15, 20 people, okay. you've done research. Okay. And so you get your data mm. and you based on that, begin to produce that rice. Okay, so fine, because of time now. So, right. uh, multi streams of income, understanding the market by doing research. Yes. So, after that, where do you go from there? In your own little way, when you have done that, then leverage the contact that you have, the people that you have. Mm. There is probably that person who has done it before okay. that you can ask. Mm. Oh, when you were doing it, how did you do it? Mm. What lessons did you learn? Yeah. The challenge is we don't ask questions. That's yeah. the... That's, May, most times yeah. why we find ourselves where we are okay. How, where do you go from there mm. use the insight from the small questions if yeah. I say research, research people will run away mm. so let me say from the small questions that you mm. ask around move okay. take, an, take actions okay. right? do the first one maybe the, from the ones you have in your house yes. do it mm. give it to five people to try it out okay. I started out as a copywriter, mm. then I would write an article and share with my siblings yes. and some of my friends and say, read this, what do you think? Mm. Oh, it's fantastic, but you should have done this, but you should have done this. Okay. That's it. Mm. So you set, start with that very brilliant friend that you have. Oh, and I'm doing this. You do this environment, your circle. Okay. Start with them first, ask them questions, try mm. this, what do you think? Mm. When you have done that, you gain more insight, then you expand. Mm. You start from five, then you go to ten. Yeah. From 10 becomes 20. Mm. And then it goes on and on and on like that. Okay. The article that goes in the punch and vanguard today that everybody's reading mm. started with just two people from my family reading. True. But they enjoyed it. Then he moved to my friends. Then they enjoyed it. Then he moved to everybody. The it's the same thing. Mm. So when you're building streams of income, mm. don't think that you want to make the millions in All one right. day. Okay. Start small. Okay. Start with five. Your immediate environment. And expand from there. All right, little yeah. by little. Okay, they are chasing me away from the studio. <laughs> but that, uh, just before we go, just uh, the, if anyone has not picked anything from this, now what would that uh, word be for that professional who is actually going through stormy waters and mm. just like need a change? Right. So I say that uh, do do uh, the the just go with the SUD principle. Okay. Wherever you are now is good enough to start. Mm. Look at that thing that you can do so well. Mm. Look at that thing that you can do so well. Mm. Um, and then start it in your own little way. With five people, with two people, with ten people, right? Use that thing that you have. It's your phone. Mm. Is it your internet? Is it your contact? Mm. Start with them. And just do what you can. You see these hands that you have, right. these eyes, these ears, these legs. Everything is enough for All you right. to start where you are. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, we have been looking at ways to navigate through stormy waters uh, in the country. And my guest has been um, a lot of me. Many thanks for your thank time you. once again. It's always thank enjoyable you, talking to you. <laughs> All right. Same here. Thank you, Justin. All right, that's as much as we can take on the show for today. Many thanks for being there. My name is Justin Akadonia. See you again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>